Hi, I'm Jeff Knight, and I'm the senior lead engineer uh, working on the Zeus Messenger product. So if simply install Zeus Messenger, you can either do that from the home page, there is a badge, which you can download Messenger, or there is a landing page that you'll be directed to, uh, www.zeus.com slash messenger.php. To uh, initiate a conversation uh, with somebody on Zeus Messenger, the first step is be friends with this person. You can go to search, find friends that way, or you can find them on the home page. Once you've requested a friendship, this person is now available for chat. We have several unique features uh, that are specific to Zeus Messenger. One is the ability to receive all of your flirts in real time. If you're waiting for that attractive guy or that attractive girl to send you their phone number, instead of having to go to the website and refresh every five minutes, while running Zeus Messenger, you'll be instantly notified that that person has sent you a flirt. Having a desktop client provides many unique features. One is the ability to take that Zeus experience outside the browser. We're able to give you a more real-time, more intimate connection to the users that extends outside the browser session. So you can go away from your computer, come back to your computer, and be notified of all the events that happened in your area that you may be interested in. We are able to bring together all parts of your social life, whether it be somebody you're interested in dating or just catching up with an old friend. We're able to bring both those experiences into one product so you can spend all your time there as opposed to having to balance back and forth through many different mediums. The activities feed, uh, we have that available on the homepage on the website. Through Zeus Messenger, you're able to get updates in real time. So as people interact in your area, new members are added, maybe somebody has come onto the site and added your favorite song to their profile, you'll be notified instantly that that user has performed an action and that you might be interested in it. Be creative. You know, you have a very short opportunity to grab that person's attention. First impressions matter. Say something wild or wacky or something that's just outside the norm. Messaging don'ts. Don't harass the other user. If you send them a message and you haven't heard anything back immediately, chances are they just haven't received it yet. One word messages are definitely a don't. You need something that will elicit a response. If you don't give them something to go off of, they have nothing to say back. How do you make it engaging while not being intrusive? We tried really, really hard to make the Duke Messenger experience compelling, but not in your face. You know, there's one thing waiting for that message. There's another thing and knowing that person's on the other end right now and you're talking to a live person.